Welcome to another episode of Glide Chat. My name is Michael Lombardo, CEO of GlideFast, and I'm joined with Top Tanti, a service delivery manager at GlideFast as well. Hey, Top. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, not too bad. It is Friday and another great week in the books, and I'm excited to have you uh, joining me on a Glide Chat. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So I guess let's jump right in, Top. Why don't you introduce yourself? Tell us a little bit about how you got into ServiceNow. Sure. Uh, top TNT. I'm a service delivery manager with GlideFast, also an architect. I still keep my hands on the keyboard. I got into ServiceNow starting as an intern at a local power company out here in Phoenix, Arizona. Started an intern, then moved my way into a full-time position as a CMDB admin. I had no idea what ServiceNow was. I'm not even <laughs> sure I knew what a CMDB was. So I you know, started from the very bottom, quickly learned you know, the ins and outs of ServiceNow. I was trying to answer questions on the community, watching YouTube videos. Um, just really, really loved the platform from, from the beginning. Yeah, that just sounds so familiar. I mean, obviously, that's, that's my history too, uh, of like, what is ServiceNow? Sure. And then just like using every resource available to you, which was online, YouTube, you know, community, everything you just said. And, and like dedication, I think is a, huge part of it, right? I think it was like endless. <laughs> I think you have to insert the word endless surfing in fishing yeah. for, for information, right? It's like, it's such a deep and wide platform. There's so much to learn, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And as cliche as it sounds, you know, I, I just couldn't get enough, right? I wanted to yeah. you know, be able to do everything that, you know, and do, do things the right way, right? I learned starting from yeah. the beginning, um, you know, definitely made some mistakes and learned quickly from them, but yeah. you know, now we're here. And I, and I think like we, you realize like how much opportunity is here, right? Not just like for your, forget about your career and all that, but just like there's so many processes and workflows that could be solved with this platform. And even though it was difficult for us at the time, we knew once we learned it, it would, we could just build things so quickly yeah. because, because of the platform, right? Cause you know, building an app from scratch versus building it an app in service now is like light years difference yeah. you know yeah and yeah. that's a big benefit too right like the technical part that that's fun uh but being able to solve the problems and seeing like the satisfaction from from customers that you know the go live celebration everything's working as they expected they makes their lives easier their jobs easier that's that's really the fun part yeah and like just getting that you know getting the feedback from customers and it's like wow, how did you build that? Like as if you're a magician. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I guess that's a good segue. Like what are, what are some of your skills? What, what parts of the platform do you focus on? So of course I started with ITSM, incident problem change request. But the last last three years or so, I've been focused with CSM, customer service management implementations. And that's yep. pretty much where I've been. Yeah, and it's it seems like that area is just, you know, so there's just so much opportunity, right? Yeah, I think uh, I think ITSM. I was just actually talking to somebody this week, and I was explaining that I think ITSM was really just that gateway drug, you know, yeah. to get to kind of just get you hooked on on the platform and get you know kind of just a way to penetrate some of these organizations. But really, the long term, I mean, it, there's just going to be so much more, and I think customer service management or customer workflows now is just one of those examples of just it's just going to be total market domination, you know, of those yeah, areas. I agree. And you could, you could kind of tell already with everything that they uh, keep coming out with in the new releases with, with customer service, um, you know, the contributor yeah. roles, giving more access to everybody to use that application. Yeah. And, and it, it Didn't just you create that any process. Didn't yeah, you have yeah, to create yeah. that? Yeah, I remember. In, I remember in, in, uh, in the in the uh, early implementation, we had to uh, yep. accommodate that before service now that came out. That customer out of Boston, right? Yep. Yep. I remember. <laughs> I wasn't on that project, but I remember you telling it to me. That's cool. And so you've been at GlideFast for a long time. You were like one of the first uh, employees mm -hmm. here. And uh, so I guess why? And it was funny. We were just chatting before we started, and, and I remember. I remember sending you a LinkedIn message and I was like, Hey, happy birthday, Top. And you're like, you know, it'd be nice if for a present would be a job, you know, I'd be like, Hey, all right, cool, man. Cool. Let's go. <laughs> um, but you know, if maybe it'd be cool if you could tell people out there, like why you, why you're still here. I think he's, you know, going on six years, probably, um, yeah. you know, why, why do you stick around? Cause there's so much opportunity out there in the service now ecosystem. 
maybe just letting people know why for you, why you're sticking around, why you like working here. Yeah. I mean, um, it, anyone who watches this that I've interviewed recently, right? This, this is one of the questions that uh, we usually get asked. And it's always about, you know, the company, the, the, fa the family, the morale that, that this company has, right? Like, I don't, I don't think of this as a company. I think of it more of yeah. as like a family. We're all here to help each other. The passion for service now, the, the brains that we have, you know, there's people in this, in this company that, that could do amazing things and they're always willing to help. So you always have that support. It's like, it's like we're, yeah, we might be on a project, but it, I feel like it's the whole company that's on that project and yeah. we're never going to get stuck. Um, yeah, that, that, that's, that's the awesome. biggest thing. Yeah, that's awesome. And that's, I think that's really been the mission. And I, a lot of, a lot of that mission, I think has been defined by you over the years is we want to be the best team in the industry. We want to solve the toughest challenges, be at the forefront of innovation and we got to support each other to do that, right? We, we can't got to check the egos at the door. And yeah. uh, believe me, there could be a lot of egos because, man, the talent here is just unbelievable. But, yeah, hey, I think that was a, a great episode. Top, thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. And uh, have a great week. Yeah, weekend. thank you. Yeah, you too. See ya.